guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. channel. Welcome to my second annual birthday get ready with me birthday special. I did one of these last year when I turned 21 and that feels like yesterday, but somehow it was one whole year ago. So welcome to my second year in a row doing a birthday get ready with me. I'm turning 22, which is so insane. By the time you guys are seeing this, it is my actual birthday, January 8th. Me and my family are celebrating a few days early, so that's why I'm filming today. But this whole week is my birthday, so Sam bought me this hat. It says birthday girl on it. It's a little pink cowboy hat. And you guys know I've been wanting a cowboy hat for my birthday. Now I finally have one, super cute. I feel like the trend is gone, but you know what? I'm still doing it. Today we're going to be getting ready for a little birthday party type thing that we're doing just with my family because COVID is extremely bad and basically all my birthday plans got canceled, but it's okay because we're still gonna be doing fun stuff. We're just gonna be spending it with my sisters, Sam, maybe Becca's gonna come over. We're just gonna like, do some cute little things and have a little quarantine birthday party. That's 2022 so far for you, but we're gonna be positive about it. I self tanned yesterday. I just got out of the shower from rinsing it off. My hair's a little bit wet because so I wanna give myself a blowout. We're gonna go through all of it together, doing the hair, makeup. I have a few different outfits that I wanna wear. I'm obviously probably gonna not wear them for very long because they're kind of like really dressy. And I'm just gonna be in my living room. I figured I would still kind of dress up just to take a cute little Instagram picture and just like for fun for a little bit, but then I'll probably end up changing later in the night. I think I want to start out with the blowout because my hair is wet. So let's get out the Dyson Airwrap. Start out with the bangs because that's what I always do. Make sure that they're nice and blown out. I have this attachment on. If you guys want a whole hair wrap tutorial, I actually already have one on my channel. So I will link it. I thought it would be like a really fun thing for me to talk about like all things that I learned in my 22 years of life now. And most of these things I've learned just in the past year, like turning 21. You don't think it's gonna happen, but once you actually hit your 20s, you almost have this like major just growth like all at once. And like you just learn so much about life, so much about yourself. Let me do this quickly. I think one of the major things that I've learned in this past two years, and like this is something that I really needed to learn, and that is to literally not care what people think. I know that that is so cliche and it's so like basic, like, oh yeah, I don't care what people think. But like, I literally used to care so much what people thought about me and I always knew I wanted to do social media and I always knew I wanted to do all these things, but I was so intimidated by the people around me. And so I just never did anything that I actually wanted to do. I never did anything to draw attention to myself. Myself, even though I really did want to make vlogs and I really did want to post on Instagram how I want to post all this stuff But I was just too scared to and that's why I waited until I was in college even until my first year of college I didn't get the courage to actually start posting on social media And I wish I started earlier because I just can't believe how I used to think like I used to think so differently <laughs> And now I literally would never ever let any other person's opinion on something dictate like whether I do it or not Or like I would never let anybody else's feelings stop me from doing something that I really wanted to do So I wish I had somebody to really tell me that and like show me that this is your life Like you shouldn't be wasting not even one year not doing something that you want to do so that's something that's definitely huge. Also, that goes along with just like being more confident in myself. I like look back, I had the worst self-esteem when I was younger and like in high school, I literally just like accepted the fact that I just hated the way I looked. I literally would just look at myself in the mirror and just take myself apart. I literally had the worst body dysmorphia. I was just a mess and I feel like I had no guidance. I never really opened up to somebody about it and it was like really difficult. I got into some really bad habits because of it and I really didn't really talk about it with anybody. I wish I just knew you. Everybody is so beautiful in their own way. Your anxiety and like all these things that your brain tells you are literally lies and I wish that I didn't fall into it when I did because I was so young and I was so like vulnerable. If you're somebody out there who feels the same way, please just take a step back. Really try to see all the beautiful parts of you because everybody is beautiful in their own way. There's not one set thing that is considered beautiful. I really, really learned how to love myself as I've gotten older and love myself for who I am. Like there was to be so many things I've wanted to change about my body and now I I feel like I've just like accepted this is the way I look. That was a very important lesson that I learned. 
Another thing I learned this year is that not everybody is going to like you. This is something that has always been so hard for me to grasp. Even as a little girl, I literally hated being not liked. I realized that there is such a small percentage of the world that knows you for who you truly are. And there's such a small percentage of people who are even willing to like get to know you for who you really are. So why in the world would you let somebody's judgment of you that doesn't even really know who you are at all affect you? There's always going to be people who don't even care to learn who you actually are. Not everyone is gonna like you. Not everyone's gonna understand you for who you are. Not everyone is going to want to understand you. And that's okay because that is life. That is how it goes. That was a very hard pill for me to swallow because especially being on social media and having haters, like that is something I was not ready for. I don't really have that many, so thank God. But I do sometimes randomly get like these comments that are just so mean for no reason and like saying these assumptions about me that are just so bizarre, like not even true at all. I usually just like will delete them because I hate like looking at them and I don't want people who actually support me to like have to see that because for what reason, you know, like it's just not benefiting anybody. It's just bringing negativity to my platforms, which I hate. All you can control is yourself. There's that. Now time to do the top pieces. Oh God. I love the way it looks when I'm first done with it. I feel like I belong in like the 80s or something. Now that her hair is super curly, I don't think I'm gonna really brush it out yet because I wanna keep this volume. Like I'm gonna spray a little under here. And then I'm gonna brush them out after I do the makeup and stuff just so that I can try to make them last as long as possible. So we're just gonna look a little crazy for a second. Um, let's clip back the hair so we can really start the makeup. I'm gonna be using these clips that Sam got me for Christmas. Let's do, um, let's do these yellow ones. These are so cute. I'm obsessed with these. Now we're ready for the makeup. I'm so excited. I haven't put makeup on in a few days. I'm going to start with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. I've been loving this. This makes for such a good base. Like it makes your skin look so nice and just youthful. I truly cannot believe that I'm 22. I feel like I remember being a young girl and like thinking about people who were 21 or 22 and thinking they were so old. Like I used to think that that means that you're like a full on adult like you're ready for everything. Meanwhile, that's not true or at least not for me. I feel very young I feel like I'm still 16. I don't know how to feel about it. But yeah, I'm very excited for this year Even though it is not really started off great But it could be worse and I'm very grateful that it's not worse I just have high hopes that everything's gonna get better. Like I said, we decorated downstairs with like all like balloons So I'm thinking about taking my Instagram picture there I don't really know how it's gonna come out or how it's gonna look but I'll definitely bring you guys and show you. My parents are actually out of town right now, so we're having like a little free-for-all. I think we're just gonna order some food, just play some games. I don't even know what. Just hang out. It's really gonna be such a chill birthday. I feel like I'm just getting ready just for fun and just getting ready just to take a little picture because that's like my favorite thing to do. I like getting dressed up and taking pictures, even if it sounds so like corny and just like a little bit embarrassing. I don't care. I mentioned in one of my other videos that my vanity chair actually broke and I've had no vanity chair for over a week now and it's been so inconvenient like so annoying right now i'm using a little stool that was in my mom's vanity i ordered one on amazon and it hasn't come in yet and i'm excited for it to come in because i think it's really cute i also bought at ulta the other day this like mist supposed to like make you glittery just because i've been seeing a few people on tiktok use it and it looks so cute and i was like that would be kind of fun for, like a little birthday picture to have my whole body just be glittery so i didn't find the exact one that i wanted but i found this it's from Eva NYC. I think that's what it's called. There's no sulfates, no parabens, so that's good. Hair and body shine mist. I'm excited to try that out. We'll, we'll try it out together and see if it works. I bought a few dresses when I thought I was going to Florida. I bought a few dresses so that I had some nice outfits to wear when we were there. So that's kind of why I want to wear one of them, just because I want to get use out of them and I don't know if I could return them. They're from Opali. Love their dresses, so I'm very excited to try them on. I didn't even open it yet. It came in the mail the other day and I have like yet to open it. So it'll be like a fun little surprise. It's really cute also because Sam bought me a bunch of balloons from Party City. Like a bunch of like happy birthday and like my name and the 22 all in balloons. And he also bought one that said congrats on it. And he like brought it home this morning and he showed me and my sister. And we were like, why did you buy one that said congrats? Like he got one that said happy birthday. And then he got one that said congrats. And we were like, why? 
did you get the congrats one? Like, what is that for? And he was like, it's for you. Like, what are you talking about? Like, congrats. That's what people say on your birthday. And we were like, whoever says congrats on your birthday? And he was like, so convinced that like, that's something that you like say on someone's birthday. And I actually took a clip on my phone. It was so funny. It says congrats for, I literally, I could have sworn people texted me congrats. Like on your birthday? birthday? Yes, I'm positive. Sam, congrats, absolutely not. What are you guys talking about? Congrats, <laughs> Sam. It was so cute, but it was also just like, like what? It's funny. I love this cloud paint from Glossier. It looks like it's gonna be crazy, but then it actually ends up being so nice. And it's so pigmented, which I feel like blush always like loses its pigmentation after like two seconds of being on your face. So I like how this one actually stays on. Oh shit, I just put so much powder. Oh my god, I gotta get my eye. Now we're ready for some eyeshadow. I'm literally gonna do a random look with like some pink colors and just quickly do a little eye look with that. But I'm so excited. I think Becca's coming over. It's gonna be fun, okay? We're just gonna make the most of it. That's what we're doing tonight. And then on my actual birthday, I'm actually gonna be going to, I think, Sam's house because me and his brother share the same birthday. So we usually like there for dinner for a little bit. And then I don't even know. Going back to things that I learned, actually, this just reminded me. I feel like I, I used to be cursed. I would basically end up crying on my birthday every single year. And I feel like a lot of people relate to this somehow where it's like you just always end up crying on your birthday. And that has happened almost every single year of my teenage years. And then last year was the first year that I didn't. Like that was the first time I broke the curse. So I think that I'm good for this year, thank God. But like last year was probably my favorite birthday that I've had so far. It was just amazing. My 21st birthday, if you guys want to go watch the vlog of it. We were in Florida, me, Sam. Becca and her boyfriend. I also got to see my cousins and Sam just gave me the best gift ever He like had everyone one of my family like take a video of them like saying something nice about me he Made a little video like he edited it together himself and he showed it to me and it was just so cute Like he got all my friends and family to say something and it was the cutest thing ever and I cried And it was just like the best 21st birthday that I could have had because I don't really like going out and partying Like that wouldn't be considered a good birthday for me to like go out and party and like get drunk that's just like so not me i usually don't really drink a lot so i just loved it i loved that birthday it was very fun it was very much my vibe so i think today i want to add a little like gem i did the pearls on new year's eve but i think today i'm gonna do the little crystal ones just for fun like not a lot of them maybe just like one or two i don't know where i want to put them though these are from ColourPop also and they're so good like they come like sticky and they actually like stayed on my face for pretty long where should i put these and what size oh it's such a nice sunset do you guys see that such a cute sunset i love that okay i got one does that look weird maybe like right there that is that cute I think that's kind of cute. Okay, very cute. I think that's good enough. I don't want to like go too too hard with it. But now this is the Buxom Extrovert Mascara and it's so amazing, like for real. Let's do the lips now. Okay, now that the lips are lined, we're gonna go with some gloss. Let's do my favorite, some white Russian on the inner parts of my lips. And then some Dior lip oil in Rosewood. This over top. Okay. And now the makeup is done. And I think the hair is done as well. Got a lot of volume. Okay. I want to get dressed really quickly so that way I can take a picture before I like mess up my face and my hair. So this is the finished result of the hair and the makeup. It's almost dark now. I'm gonna go get the Opali package with the two dresses that I might wear today. And then we're gonna try them both on and like make an executive decision of which one we wanna use for the picture. So BRB. Okay guys, I'm about to open it up. First of all, I just can't get over this sunset right now. This is like a birthday miracle for me. I love when the sky is pink and yesterday it was really pink and really purple. And now it is like this again. And look how beautiful. I love it. I just got my package. Let us open it together. I bought these with my own money. A little birthday gift to myself. So we're gonna see which one looks better. First off, we have this. I don't know if you can see that, but it has like the pearl detailing on it. It's like a little crop top. And then we have a beige skirt to go with it. So it's kind of like a two-piece set. This is 
so beautiful. Oh my god. And then I also got this white dress. Here are the two options we got for tonight. This really cute white dress and then this beige set. And if neither of those look good, I actually have another outfit that I can probably wear. It's like a satin two-piece set from Princess Polly that also would be really cute and I feel like it's kind of like birthday vibes. So I'm gonna try these on and then we're gonna like see like how it looks and stuff. So Gary. Okay. This is dress number one. I love this dress so much. It is so cute. I have to zipper it up all the way, but I really like this one. I think it's so cute and so like unique. Like kind of has like the little like outlining, like kind of scandalous. Um, and I like this because I feel like this is a dress that I would only take a picture in or like I would have to wear this to something very specific because you literally like look like you just see through it. Um, because it like it's almost like underwear so like not very many places that I can wear this dress to So I feel like this is perfect to just take a picture in. This is a good contender. I don't know why I'm out of breath Let's see what it looks like with the hat on Maybe I'll just pull a little like really extra and just have two birthday outfits because like I'm obsessed with this one and I have a really good feeling I'm gonna like the other one too So I'm gonna take a little TikTok and then we're gonna change it to the other outfit. I'm literally out of breath I literally completely forgot about this spray, so I'm gonna put it on and like see how it looks Okay, did that work? I feel like you guys can't even tell but it did it did work a little bit I feel like I can tell in the mirror more than I can in the camera, but Okay, I wish there was glitter in there, but Okay, now this outfit is beautiful. I am obsessed with this. Look how cute the top is. This is the full fit. I think this outfit looks so good with the hair. Like I said, I'm just gonna take pictures in both because I'm just obsessed with both of these. I feel like this outfit in particular looks so good with this type of hair, like this type of blowout. Hopefully somebody can get here soon so that they can help me take a picture because right now I'm a little bit struggling trying to do it by myself, but like this is beautiful and I wish I was going somewhere so that I can wear this. If you see me re-wearing this outfit one day, then just just mind your business because this needs to be seen by like a lot of people I can't just like not wear this out. Let's try to take some pictures or hopefully somebody can get here and then we'll take a picture But I love her We have this on still it is so cute I just took a bunch of pictures and they look so good, but now I think I should just change into like a comfier, cuter outfit for the actual night because everyone else is not gonna be this dressed up. Everyone's gonna be in just like loungewear, I'm assuming. I think Becca's on her way right now as well and she is definitely not gonna be dressed up. Before I end this video, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for this entire year of like support. I feel like once I made that 21st birthday get ready with me, that's when like my channel really like kickstarted like this past year. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for always being there for me. Even if this is your first video of mine, thank you for being being here. Thank you for clicking on my video. If you want to subscribe and turn on my post notifications, I would love you for that. And yeah, we're just gonna have a chill birthday. Not do anything crazy, but we're still gonna be extra as fuck because why the hell not, you know? We have to celebrate somehow. Yeah.